Hey everyone, it's Ariola and we're back to another episode of Ariolan's Heart Rate Gaming. We're back to Idle Heroes and it looks like they're giving us the Easter event this time. Uh, so the Easter event, let's go ahead and jump right to that and take a look at it. We have these Easter balls where you could get wooden hammers, golden hammers, and diamond hammers to smash the respective type of eggs. So on the far left, the polka dotted one is the normal eggs and this is the stuff you can get in it so we have shards and scrolls and orbs um, and then you have a chance of getting golden hammers as well so that's kind of cool usually they don't give you any option to get any of the higher uh, tier things in the events you usually have to pay for those or do some sort of really big event related thing to get them so it's neat that you do have a chance to get them in the gold egg, uh, it looks like they're mostly like elite exclusive artifacts uh, and orange artifacts. So these are artifacts that you can get from um, the red exclusive shards and from regular orange shards. Like we've got we've got magic source in here. We got fearless armor, which those are pretty decent. Those can be usable. And then we've got a few, um, or well, I guess several choice of uh, limited skins in here and then you have a 10% chance of getting a diamond hammer and then there's also a 30% chance to get a random five star hero so some fodder in there as well and then in the diamond egg they're giving us a chance at some of the more elite heroes the more top tier tier heroes like we've got Horus and Penny and Unimax, Delasium is even in there, Carrie, Amon Ra, Ada, Garuda, Terra. I mean, lots of good heroes in here. Um, and then it looks like these are the orange exclusive artifact uh, shards, like the artifacts you can get from the orange exclusive shards. So yeah, we have like Rune's Power in here and um just i mean all of these i can't remember exactly the name of a lot of them <laughs> they're mostly just upgraded versions of the orange ones and then they have more limited skins in here um some of these kind of look like or maybe all of them i think these are festival exclusive limited skins um yeah, because it's got like the Halloween Kathuga, the Valentine Heart Watcher, the Valentine Oberon, the Chinese New Year skins. Yeah. So, special uh, holiday limited skins in this one. So, uh, then we also have the egg bonus. So, as you break open these eggs, you can get extra stuff. So breaking five diamond Easter eggs gets you this mysterious artifact selection chest. It says you get to open the chest and then select one of the artifacts. And they're actually the really good artifacts. Like these are the ones that you usually have to pay to get or save a ton of universal crystals to get. So yeah, that's only if you can get five diamond eggs open. You do have a 10% chance of getting a diamond hammer in your golden eggs, so maybe if you get really lucky, maybe you can get it. 15 uh, golden eggs gets you Amon Ra, 25 gets you Ada. If you hatch 10 normal ones, you get diamonds. 25, 40. Um, at 60 normal eggs, you get the new Delasium skin, which I think is stinking cute i freaking love jellyfish <laughs> i love this i do not think it looks abyss hero at all but i love it anyway <laughs> so new delasium skin or i guess the first delasium skin and it has hp attack and crit um yeah so then uh, there, it looks like they're giving an a, Augustus Magic Ball at 80 Ordinary Eggs. I met these are all going to be very hard to get. If I, I mean, I think it's basically going to be impossible if you're not going to spend. Because otherwise, uh, I mean, so this is limited at 30. And, and that's talking 
3,000 gems to get 30 smashes and 30 smashes yeah it does it only gets you to the normal five star uh, I didn't really take the time to do all the math this time around because um, I think I'm just not gonna stress about that for a little while and uh, okay so spring outing in the spring outing this one is it's sort of similar to heroic miracle you have to obtain any way basically certain faction heroes and by doing it you get bonus heroes as rewards so if you get five of the normal factions so abyss shadow forest or fortress if you get five heroes from any of those you'll get a sleepless copy dark fodder and then if you get two light and darks and three of the quad faction heroes you'll get a michelle copy and if you can get five light or dark heroes from anywhere you get a carry copy which is pretty great these are pretty much a freebie i mean as long as you keep shards in your bag all you gotta do is pull out the shards and you, you get this stuff so it's pretty cool um i'm stu i'm really psyched that that, that uh, they have carry in here. That's pretty giving. That's very nice. Uh, and then they have special packages, party packages uh, for this event. Uh, I just show them for the sake of showing them, but I am not interested in buying any of them. I mean, it's $100 for two diamond hammers. I mean, I guess it only takes five to get the one diamond egg reward thing, but still. Like a hundred dollars is just it's too much for me so then they also have the, they've got a lot of special boxes in this event they have a festival skin selection box where it has the festival skins that you can get in the diamond egg but you get to pick which one you want so that's cool they're giving you another opportunity to get those things that you might want uh and then in the whole event so the last thing was the campaign drop in the garden party I ended at 2300 as per usual. I usually fall a little shy of the normal range, which is typically 2400 if you can collect regularly, but uh, I don't always have the time to get on right away, so sometimes I miss some of my collection. They do have a Punisher of Immortal in the shop this time around, uh, so if you've got Universal Crystal saved up, that's not a bad artifact. I'm probably going to hold out for a Demon Bell, just because that's an artifact that can be used on many, many of the very useful heroes like Ada and Amun-Ra and really good heroes. So I'm going to wait, and I already talked about the rest of the stuff, but I'm just going to go all in on scrolls. Gosh, I wish I could hold that down. Yep, scrolls. Scrolls for me. And then we'll just get gold with the rest because I'm pretty good on orbs. I was expecting the Easter event to be orbs and then it changed and I thought it was going to be scrolls. And now it's looking like it's going to be this special event. And I guess they're not going to have a summon event associated with Easter. I mean, I guess we'll have to wait and see how next week goes, but it's looking like this is our event. So yeah. <laughs> I'm holding on to my orbs for the anniversary event then. So more value packages. We have, you know, the packages you get hammers and dice, which the dice are used here in the Imps Adventure. So in the Imps Adventure, you earn ordinary and lucky dice and you roll them and then he moves around the board and you either get the item that he lands on or if he lands on a little starry mushroom, it levels up and then it gives you more stars, which the stars are what you're trying to earn. And if he passes the starry mushroom, you still earn stars. If you land on the little wishing hut, you get an extra ordinary dice. Uh, you know, there's three star shards, there's five star shards on the board, there's four star shards. There's the fortune hut, which it gives you three tarot cards to pick from and you pick one and then it gives an effect of some sort. Uh, I mean, we'll see what happens. And then there's the Karma Hut. The Karma Hut 
it basically says that on your next roll, if it's even, you're, you're going to go forward, and if it's odd, it's going to go back. And in the rules, it said that if you go back, then you don't earn anything. So basically, it's a bad thing. Don't go back. And then they have the lucky hut, which lets you get um, a lucky dice, which lets you determine what you roll. So, yeah. Um, and then special this time in the shelter mission, they have... The shelter mission is giving the normal rewards plus five dice for the imp adventure. So obviously we're going to want to do all of these to get the dice so that we can uh, participate in the dice game as much as possible and just see if we can get anything. I mean... I'm not really sure. This is the first time they've done an event like this. I've never seen this before. And I'm a little bit unsure as to whether this is going to be a regular event that we're going to see now. Or if this is... Uh, oh, I don't have enough. Or if this is um, just for Easter. It seems like a very elaborate game for just Easter, um, but I'm not sure, like, I guess we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm sort of hoping that maybe it's a new event, but at the same time, I kind of doubt it because it does seem like it requires quite a bit of an investment money-wise just to be able to uh like participate in the board game fully oh man i'm not getting lucky finding this last four star i need i don't have that much space all right hold on okay i finally finally got it that took more effort than it should have uh okay here we go all right so dice obtained okay so yeah you definitely want to do those four um these don't give it and they're usually not worth doing anyway um but yeah so i'm just exchanging for those this time around just to get the dice um and then of course we have the gray dwarf's blessing which is where you can get the class specific gear so if you're still working on that remember you can only do this exchange one time but at per time it comes around so you want to take advantage of that if you still need that um oh i got my sleepless and for our daily they're giving us five wooden hammers and four dice every day so we'll get some chances uh to crack some eggs and to roll some dice um so the hammers cost a hundred a piece so if you wanted to buy you could only buy 30 so that costs 3,000 gems if you want to buy them all um, and it says you can get some more wooden hammers in the imps adventure and then buying them and then the daily so like daily purchasing with gems imps, imps adventure and then buying them and of course the bigger ones you can only buy them or get them from cracking eggs. So let's uh, let's start off with the Emp Adventure. Uh, so I've got 24 dice from finishing from getting my daily, and then for finishing the shelter event. So I've got 24 rolls, uh, and what we're looking for is stars. So these are the star rewards. As you collect stars, you get more wooden hammers. Uh, you know when you get to 80 you get scrolls and elite and then there's these special chests that I was talking about are in here this is a limited skin chest and it has golly it looks like pretty much all of the limited skins um, and then this one you can get a six star puppet which is cool I imagine it's gonna be pretty hard to get to 170 stars we'll see I'm kind of curious I'm not sure I mean, if we're only getting five dice, I, it's gonna be the luck of the roll, really. Um, and then this one, you could pick a five-star hero, which there's actually some some good heroes in here. Garuda, 
uh, Unimax, Delasium. I mean, yeah, it looks like everything except for light and dark heroes, but lots of good heroes in here worth picking up for sure. This is a material chest. Random materials if you need them. Um, this one is a light and dark hero of your choice, so that's pretty cool. And then the last one uh, is a nine star puppet. And yeah, I don't, I don't imagine that one's gonna be obtainable without spending money. But that's what you can get. So let's roll our 24 dice and see what happens. Let's go ahead. Pew! Oh, off to a fantastically lucky start, because that's me. We want big numbers because we want to go around as many times as possible. Um, so I got another dice. Oh, come on, please. We want big numbers so that we can go around and get as many stars as possible. Well, at least I got a five-star hero out of it, I guess. I'm rolling very low. We want sixes. All right, well, we've made it around one lap. Hey, we got another dice. Yay. Yay, a six. Hey, and we leveled up our little uh, star hut. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh does the dizzy mean... Oh, wait. Okay, so be even. Yes! Woo! All right. Wow, <laughs> one. Okay, we got a lucky dice. Hmm, a lucky dice. If I roll it and take a four, I could level up the mushroom house. Or if I roll it and take a five, I can get an extra dice. Hmm... Extra dice or hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna level up the mushroom house because I feel like getting more stars is important. And I can only do that if I actually land on the house. Come on, big numbers. Uh oh. Okay, this one. Pranked by a naughty gremlin, your next roll will make your imp move backwards. Great! So I just lost a dice. Okay, good thing I only moved one. Now roll big, please. Yay! Okay, so my mushroom house on that one is now level three, which is the max level. Oh man, please be even. Oh, come on! I am really unlucky guys I really am now I'm just going straight back to it I'm going in circles now wow I get the feeling I didn't earn very many stars four four oh I don't like this one you're in Brazil a random workshop no effect. Okay, so one of my workshops just lost a level. That sucks. It seems like that fortune house is hot garbage. Okay, so that's all the rolls. <laughs> I only got 42 stars, so I didn't even get to the first goal. Like, I'm only halfway there, and that was 24 dice. 24 dice I didn't even achieve the first star goal yeah I think I'm gonna be lucky just to complete that by the end of this event the, yeah mm. I really hope this is not like a new serious event or if it is they need to really rework it because that Horrible. I was expecting to at least completely finish the first goal. That's really disheartening. Okay, let's smash some eggs. Crack! Skin shards. Go! A cavern scroll. Oh, money. Come on, give me a golden hammer. Golden hammer, go! Aw. Okay, so... Yeah. Alright. Let's, let's do my skin fusion. Phew! Christmas Valkyrie. 
Alrighty. Well, um, I guess I need to get five light or dark heroes. I'll do that later. Anyway, so that's this event, and I'm assuming this is gonna, this is the Easter events. Um, I was expecting something much bigger and more exciting, um, or at least associated with a summon event. I'm really disappointed that this got me so little stars, because I feel like the whole purpose is to achieve these star goals to get these rewards, so that's kind of sad, but whatever, that's just how it rolls, but yeah, so that's this event, that's a look at it. We still have the anniversary event to look at forward to. I imagine that event is definitely still going to be big. And, I mean, they want to celebrate their anniversary, right? So yeah, that's this event. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. See ya!